Hello. Uh, I'm Dan Gardner. This is Andrew Woods. Yeah. Hello. Uh, we're both uh, master teachers for the Computing at School group, and this is our first go with one of these, the BBC Microbit computer. Uh, we think it might be slightly different by the time all of the year seven children in the schools around the country get hold of one of these uh, in a few months time but we're going to show you the very basics of what we've done with it today so uh, this is the microbit website microbit.co.uk uh, and what do we do here uh, well, th there's a slightly complex sort of uh, signing in process, but you can basically use your Facebook account or the Office 365. Yeah, there's a big thing. Microsoft tie up here, so you're kind of forced down that road. But that's for teachers. Apparently, students won't need to do that. Oh, okay. So that makes it easier. Once you get to here, then uh, really, you just want to start creating code for your micro bit. Um, at some point, you do have to plug it in with the probably supplied, I would hope. <laughs> yeah, micro <laughs> USB, micro thing. basic micro USB, orange light. That's always good. Um, so once you've done that, then you're ready to create code. And so there's a few options. Uh, we'll go through this website with you. So there's um, the Microsoft Touch Develop system, which you might have used before. Um, do we like that, Dan? Do we? <laughs> I don't like it. I find I spend more time worrying about where things are in the interface than I do what I'm making. Yeah. Um, maybe, maybe if you were on a touch screen, it would make more sense. Yes. Yeah. But as we're sat here with a laptop, and apparently all of this yeah. um, development, so all this development is <coughs> done inside the website mm -hmm. and then compiled down onto your uh, uh, yeah. microbit thing. So you could do this from a iPad or whatever. Um, the block editor, I think, is based on Google's Blockly project. It looks just like Scratch, so that's the one we'll show in a yeah. minute. Uh, but apparently JavaScript and Python are coming. Um, yeah, I'm excited about Python because that's the programming language I teach, so Python, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited that that's going to come. That'd be good. Well, we'll show the block editor in this short video. So create a new project here. You can't rename the project at the moment, but you will be able to. Uh, and so you've got these huge buttons at the top. Go back to your script, run it in a kind of simulator, compile and chuck it onto your uh, micro bit card thing and then you can convert it into sort of text language. But if we just go to basic, there's a few ready-made blocks here. And straight away, if you're familiar with Scratch, you're just going to feel yeah. right at home, aren't you? You can see what's going on here. I can see myself using this with my year sevens instead of the unit of Scratch I normally do. Mm -hmm. I might just go straight to micro bits. Yeah, that's a good idea actually. So. Um, Let's just show like the Hello World one because who wouldn't just do that? So you literally drag that into the workspace and that's it. And if we <laughs> press run, it'll bring up a little fake micro bit and uh, it's got this really cool thing where the writing scrolls along mm. on... And the, and the speed of scroll is that variable on the end of that line, isn't it? So now, you can change that. There's no way this webcam is going to focus nicely on the LEDs on the board, but we might as well show you the whole process. So if you want to put that on your micro bit, you press the compile button it goes to this compiling stage and this is again all done in the web so you just need internet access and a browser to make this work and actually this morning we've got about 25 people here doing this and this morning the compiling bit did break <laughs> but, then it, but then it was fixed in like five minutes so I think it'll be pretty robust by Christmas or whenever they're supposed to well, get there. when there's supposed to be millions of well, not millions. millions. Well, 700,000. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all doing it like Friday Brood 5. Perhaps the problem there was there weren't enough people doing it. <laughs> Okay. It works better with So what's happened is um, it's downloaded or saved in my downloads from Chrome here uh, a file called microbit or inspiring script dot hex. And the really nice thing about this is when you plug uh, the microbit in, it just comes up in like here is another drive. Yeah, like a USB stick. So all you've got to do is copy that thing onto there, copy to microbit. And you can do that any way you want. You can right-click send. And then there should be a flashing, flashing, flashing orange. orange light showing that it's downloading. And that is... Oh, I've got this upside down now, right? No, that's right. Can you see it? Can you see it? Right. It is saying hello. It kind of starts it and then sort of resets itself and starts again. Well, duh. Yeah. And so that's basically how easy it is to use the micro bit. And when you've put your program on, um, it kind of resets itself. So you always seem to have these two files, which have details about the card. Uh, and you can just copy the file over, it runs and then deletes itself. Yeah, and disappears, which is a bit weird, but, but that's how it works. But you can see just how easy this is. Uh, yeah. If you know how to use Scratch a bit, then you just got to drag and drop it onto there and you're done. And the other things we should probably point out, as well as this 5x5 LED screen, uh, screen, 
uh, the two input buttons here, so A and B input. Then we've got all of these, uh, what do you call these? Well, they were calling them pins, were Pins, they? yeah. But it's basically a makey-makey. Right, so there's so ground... Don't, don't spend £50 pounds on a makey-makey when no. you get one of these free. Um, and on the back, if this sticker wasn't here, you'd be able to see it better, there's an accelerometer and a compass. So you can shake it about and it does things and you can do all sorts of stuff. So yeah, we already had loads of silly ideas, didn't we? Yeah. Um, so we, we've sort of been smiling a lot this oh, morning. Oh, the other thing. Yeah, oh. uh, you can... Uh, at the moment, it's powered by the USB, but what you can do is plug in a little battery pack there, and then... And then it just works. It. There you go. It's doing its Hello World thing again now. The off battery power. Um, they didn't go with coin cells for some reason, but apparently you can get coin cell holders that will plug into this thing if you want to make it a bit smaller. Um, but it really does feel robust. It really does feel... Yeah, and we've it been doing it just works. We've been doing it for a couple of hours, and we've been laughing and smiling and getting excited. Yeah, this yeah. it's easy to be sceptical about this, and I know Raspberry Pis haven't really done. Yeah, we didn't the, really know what to do with the Raspberry Pi. You Pies. don't need to know much, but you've got so much potential. Yeah, and yeah, I think your seven children are going to have a lot of fun with this this yeah, year. Yeah, just picking it up and running around the room and showing your mates what you've just oh, done. Yeah, we did like this stupid love calculator thing. Love didn't we? Yeah, calculator. Like, oh, we, we don't love each other. No, no, it was very we low. But yeah. anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah, kids are going to love this and uh, teachers are going to find it relatively easy to use as Yeah, well. yeah, really easy. It's great. I, I really like it. Anyway, there we go. Yeah. See you later. Bye. <laughs> More to come.